guys. My name is Alex Hampton, and today I'm going to give you some quick tips on how to get started on YouTube. Now, if this is your very first time ever watching any of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then hit that bell right next to it. That way you get all the notifications of every time I'm releasing a video here on my YouTube channel. Now, I did a video about this about a year and a half ago, maybe about two years ago. But now that we're in 2020, I feel as though we should give an updated version of how to get started on YouTube. There are some things that are, that are still the same and there are things that are very different. And I'm definitely going to dive into those things as we get further along in this video. So tip number one is definitely foundation. Listen. Guys, you have to establish what your foundation is. It's kind of pointless to start a YouTube channel if you don't know what you're talking about. 90% of YouTube is you looking at the camera. Unless you're doing audio based, at the end of the day, 90% 90, 90 of the time, it's you talking either through a microphone or through a camera. And if you don't know what your foundation is, then it's kind of hard to do a YouTube channel. And so if you are into movies or comic books, talk about that. If you're into films and shorts, do shorts and films on YouTube. If you're into hair and makeup or how-to videos, do that stuff on YouTube. You have to establish what your foundation is. Again, if you don't know what your foundation is, then you probably shouldn't get started on YouTube just yet. Establish your foundation first, then you want to get started on YouTube. Tip number two is products. Now, in my previous video that I did about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, um, I decided to say that, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of products that you use, which to a degree is true. It doesn't matter what type of products that you use. I mean, for the longest time, I used my smartphone. I have an iPhone and it had HD cameras on them. And if you have an HD iPhone that has a lot of the good cameras on them, you can put out quality content. However, though, I think it's best to invest in yourself to get you a microphone, get you a, a, a great HD camera and some lights to get on this quality band of YouTube. Now, listen, I'm not saying that you should, you know, spend thousands of dollars on, you know, products to get started on YouTube. However, I am saying that at some point you want to get away from your phone. I feel as though if you've been on YouTube more than a year and you have over a certain amount of subscribers, you should probably stop using your phone. In my personal opinion, your YouTube quality looks a whole lot better if you're actually using a camera and a microphone. It's just some lights. Now, again, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars to get started on YouTube to have these professional products, but at the same time, to spend about two to three hundred dollars on a camera, get you a nice microphone. I mean, this Yeti microphone was about a hundred bucks. That I mean, that's nothing. If you save up the money and invest in yourself, you want to put out a quality product. I always tell people who want to get started in this, you don't want to start with junk. You don't. So don't get too comfortable with your iPhone because you can use your iPhone or any smartphone that you have. But at the same time, you kind of want to evolve from the iPhone because at some point, you know, your iPhone might die. Your iPhone may break. It doesn't matter what it may be. It could be anything. So you definitely want to be prepared in terms of putting out great quality content by investing yourself by getting great products. Tip number three is promotions. Listen, guys, it's very simple. If you have a Instagram or Facebook, Twitter, any form of social media, use that to promote your YouTube channel. If you have over 500 Instagram followers on, on Instagram and you have maybe 20 subscribers on YouTube, use your Instagram to promote your YouTube channel. I guarantee you, you will see a difference in in the views and subscribers that you get if you use your social media platforms to promote YouTube. And on top of that, collaborate with people. Listen, if you have a movie channel, collaborate with other movie channels to get your content out there. Same thing if you have like a how-to video channel, collaborate with other people. Collaborations and promoting yourself are the big two things that will help get your YouTube channel out there. Now, I'm not going to say that you're going to explode immediately. It definitely takes time. This stuff does not happen overnight. Like I stated before, you know, you don't need thousands of dollars to get started on YouTube, but at some point you're going to want to try to elevate yourself. And by doing that, you have to collaborate with people in order to get your name out there. Again, collaborations is another way of promoting yourself. Again, if you have a strong following of other social media platforms, redirect that following to your YouTube channel, whatever that YouTube channel may be. And again, I think on Facebook, if you have a Facebook page of any kind, you can boost your videos on Facebook. Now, Paid promotions don't always work, so don't get too 
uh, wept into that, but at the same time, use them. You know, you don't have to spend $50 on a paid promotion. You can spend like $2. You can spend like $3. You can spend $4. You can spend about how much, really any amount of money to pay for promotions on your video. So at the end of the day, it's there to get your YouTube channel out there. So that is the most important thing is promoting your content. Tip number four, call to action. Guys, it's very simple. At the beginning of this video, I said, if this is your very first time watching this video, hit the subscribe button. I even had a subscribe button icon pop up on the video, right? You want to make a call to action. That way you get your audience engaged in the content that you're doing. I also tell people, hey, if you want to start dialogue, jump into the comment section below and let me know what you think of the things that I've said today. So you always want to make a call to action. You're inviting people to your audience. You're inviting people to get engaged in the content that you're putting out. So a call to action is very, very important. If you don't do a call to action on any of your videos, nine times out of 10, people are not going to want to engage. Nine times out of 10, depending on what type of video you're making, people are going to be like, okay, I'm going to watch the, few, the first few seconds of it. And that's really it. A call to action is very important. I always tell people, make a call to action at the beginning of the video and also at the end of the video, which I will do at the end of this video. Tip number five, the last and final tip is consistency. Guys, I have over 2,000 subscribers. I put out at least one or two videos a week. I do a show weekly every Monday, and also I put out clips of that show every so often throughout the week. You have to be consistent. Listen, you know, life is like a vapor at times. People are, are focusing their, their attention on different things. And at the end of the day, if you are not being consistent on your YouTube channel, people are not going to want to follow it. Meaning that if you put out a video once every two weeks, people are not going to really strongly follow it. If you're posting more on your Instagram page, if you're posting more on your Facebook page than you are your own YouTube page, you may still have that fan base because you're, you're you're posting more on Instagram and Facebook, but as far as your YouTube channel, people are not going to your YouTube channel. You will definitely see a decline in views and subscribers when your viewership is not is noticing that you're not posting as much on your YouTube channel than you are your other social medias. So if you have anything over, I always say, listen, if you have anything over 100 subscribers, put out at least two videos a week. If you're just starting out, put out, video, put out a video a week, you know, and then promote that video as consistently as you can on your multiple social medias. Listen, if you have over 2,000 subscribers, hell, if you have over 1,000 subscribers, you need to be putting out two videos a week because at the end of the day, people are going to want to watch what you have to say because clearly you have built up the fan base. So at the end of the day, you have to be consistent. You can't just put out a video once a month or twice a month because you feel like it. That's not how that works all the time. If you really want to be serious about being on YouTube and, you know, make it a, an actual hobby, make it make it something that is important to you if you can. You know, I get it. People have their own schedules, have their own lives. That's great. But at the same time, if it's important to you, you would definitely put out a video at least a week. Thank you guys so much for watching this video of my quick tips on how to get started on YouTube. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel at where you get all the updates of every time I'm releasing a video here on my YouTube channel. And please guys, jump into the comment section below for what you thought of the tips that I've made that I, that I said about getting started on YouTube. Listen, this is a very competitive business and at the end of the day, I just want you guys to succeed the same way I've succeeded and others have succeeded on YouTube. And also, if you are a fan of mine of any kind and you want to support what we're doing here Momentum Media, go to my Patreon page at patreon.com slash Momentum Media. We have three tiers on there. Any uh, Every dollar you donate helps us create great content like this on our YouTube channel. So we do appreciate your love and support. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you have a blessed day.